In this video, we'll show you how to add products to your Store Envy store. This assumes that you've already installed the Store Envy app, and then we have a separate video that uh, shows that process. So once you're logged into your account, if you go to uh, Store Envy, you can verify that you have correctly uh, synced up Store Envy and Printora, and, it, and here it shows, yes, that I've currently uh, have a store installed. So I'm going to just click on Add Print Order Products. And uh, I'll go through this process. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to choose the product that I want to offer. I'll go with the American Apparel. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is I need to select a print image. This is the image that we use to print on the shirt. So we have templates and, and things available for you to get those size correctly. Um, here it is. Um, I'm only using a front image. Now I need uh, this mock-up file. This is actually used for placement uh, by our print text. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the colors we want to offer. And so I'll just go through here and pick, I know my design is in white, so I'll select certain colors that I want to offer uh, that are dark, that'll have good contrast with that, that white. Um, now, I know that there are prices here on the right. Um, the way our service works is we have lots of different apps and certain certain platforms have uh, certain restrictions. When you do store Envy, you don't need to change the prices here. Um, unfortunately, it's, it only lets you set one, one price across uh, all of your products. So you'll see that in a moment. So you don't need to change your prices there. SKU, this is really anything you want. It doesn't, doesn't really uh, matter. Um, so here is your title and then description. Um, you can type in whatever you want. You can add some formatting. Um, and then here you need to activate it in Store Envy. So click yes. And then you're going to have some more fields you're going to need to enter. Now you're going to uh, want to enter your price that you want to sell it at. Um, and this is because, again, they don't let you have separate prices based on colors and sizes. So you're just going to enter one price here. And this, this price will be the same price uh, for all of these, these colors. It's uh, just how Store Envy does it. They have a marketplace category. And um, this where you could go. You can look and figure out exactly uh, where it should be. Probably somewhere in one of the t-shirt categories. Um, labels generally right now you're probably not doing pre-orders or you, you could do sale if you want um, and then you're entering a uh, clicking on by default it'll be a t-shirt category if you had set up collections which are fundamentally categories they would appear here so you would you would set up the collections on the store envy website and then they will automatically appear here okay so the next one is is the store Images. Now, these are the images that are going to actually appear in your Store Envy store. Now, um, you'll see a note here um, about file size, and I think Store Envy will not display your images if they're too big. So try to keep them under, say, a thousand pixels and under two or three megabytes. So we can add a few. Um, we've, as you can see, one of these is just a standard model, one of them zoomed. Um, so we'll add that, we'll add another one, we'll add the zoomed one. And this third thing is something that um, is good to do. So you don't have to add an image for every single color. All you do is you just create one base image from our mock-up templates that just shows the colors that you're offering. And if you saw, these are the same colors which I had selected uh, above. Okay, now the next one is you want to select a default store image. So I'll just do the basic um, mock-up. And also just wanted to point out, if you look at the file names that are, that are used here, um, just make sure they're real clear. So like dash mockup, mockup closeup. Um, you can also do things like add print file, print file white, or however you name your files, it'll just help you stay organized. Okay, so now we're just going to click on add product, and we'll have to wait a moment, and then it's basically loading it into your store and view store. So this can take a varying amount of time. And uh, please note that Store Envy can take a little bit to show you your product, especially the images. It just seems to be a little bit slower than some of the other apps to actually uh, get it and be viewable. But we'll, we'll wait a moment and we'll, uh, 
and we'll see if that appears yet. Okay, so right here now in Manage Products, it was our first product we've added. And you can see here, it shows my title, it shows the product I've chosen, and it shows active in Store Envy. So that means it works, so that's great. And it shows uh, when, this was, when this was added. So now we're going to go over to Store Envy and, uh, and check it out. So here we are in, in our account. Um, let's just try and see if it's in the front end. The store is not open, so we'll just have to... We may have to go to... Okay, so right now you can see this is my awesome t-shirt. Um, you can see there are no images yet, so we may just have to wait a minute. But you can see that now it basically adds all the colors we selected along with the sizes. And it's at that price which we which we said, and then it adds the description. And so what will happen now, um, in a few minutes this image will appear, um, is that whenever a customer purchases this, it'll all the order information will automatically be sent to um, sent to Printora, and then we will uh, fulfill that order. Um, also, just want to let you know is you you can only see a corner of it here, but it'll it'll show right now the store is currently closed, and so you do have to make sure you open up your store after you've added some products uh, before. Um, we're getting there. So uh, I'm just going to pause the video for a minute and check back uh, for that image to be. Uh... So it took a few minutes, uh, but eventually that the images do appear, but it can it can take a few minutes. It could take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. It's just kind of strange, but but in the end they, they will appear. If not, um, you may have to resave it, but uh, but definitely you need to be patient with the images appearing. So that is how you add your products to your store entity store, and then now when the, whenever these are purchased, they will uh, the order details will automatically be sent to Printora where we will print and ship them under your brand.